Mmm, 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 that is some smelly fish. Welcome to the student cooking show Spoon With Me, the cooking show where you're rating your guests anonymously out of five. Best bit is you're in the heart of Paris, a city that prides itself on its love of cuisine. You'll rate your guests anonymously out of five, create a menu of good conversation and a menu of food as well. The art of doing well in this competition is to create a soiree that flows. Bon appétit. This is Andrea, culture vulture like myself, she's got a love for museums. She loves looking at art but prefers sculptures. She thinks that because you live in Paris, you should take advantage of what the city has to offer. She also loves a good ballroom dance. Hey Ollie. Hey Andrea, how are you? What's up? Looking forward to the dinner party tonight? What? That's today? No, I said it was Saturday night and you are going to make this dinner party good. Okay, only because it's you, we can meet now at Tuileries and we can figure it all out. It better be delicious. Hey Andrea, over here. Hey Ollie. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Your dinner party is looming. Should we go get your ingredients to the supermarket? Let's do it. Let's go! Woo! Right, Andrea, we are here at the famous Monoprix supermarket. I'm going to give you 15 euros to find all of your ingredients in 10 minutes. Are you up for the challenge? I'm up for it, let's do it. Are you sure you're up for the challenge? <laughs> yes. All right, let's go. Um. Andrea's boyfriend will help with the cooking, although as a bit of foreshadowing, he likes to take over in the kitchen. Let's hope that doesn't affect the ratings too much. As with any ratatouille, the idea is first to caramelise the onions at high heat in the olive oil, then progressively add the ingredients in order of cooking time. So bell peppers are next, then the zucchini, then the tomatoes, and finally the herbs. Then you could remove the lid and let it simmer for a good long while, up to four hours. Sometimes I do get stressed in the kitchen, especially this size kitchen, because my kitchen before was a bit bigger. But right now, it's hard trying to figure out where to put things, like on top of shelves and stuff, so... You a bit nervous? I am, I mean... I don't know, it's like... Who is it? Who is it? <laughs> I've never had this thing where I don't know who's coming to my place. <laughs> in the meantime, Hi. the guests are arriving. Hi. First Hi. up is Alison, an extroverted Aussie from Hi. Perth. Hi. Then Michelle, a thespian lover from Florida. As mentioned, we're serving this with gin and tonic, but if that's a bit strong, we've got a five euro bottle of wine from Monoprix. In France, you can get a decent bottle for that price with a little searching. I have just had a gin. I have just come from a fashion week party in Nagal, where they had a gin bar. A bunch of glasses. Oh, that's nice. Thank you. 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 Thank are we waiting on somebody? Yes, we're waiting on one last person. Okay. Yeah. A so, boy. A boy. He's late. Yes, as you know. Yeah. yeah. Not surprised. Killed. <laughs> <laughs> it's Greek Egyptian oh, Halley nice. that's last to arrive, having come about half an hour late. And where are you from originally? Florida. Which part? Uh, St. Petersburg. It's right by Orlando, Tampa area. Is that north? It's in the middle on okay. the west coast. Okay. Where are you from? I'm from Australia originally. Where? Um, Perth, which is in Western Australia, okay. which is very isolated. Um, this is a cool apartment for someone who's young. Now we're going to cook with chicken inside the food. So, we're ready to eat. Well, okay. Okay. Oh yeah, let's start. Okay, it looks great. Yeah. What did you just say? Provecho. In Spanish, it's provecho. Is your family Spanish speaking? Mm. I'm from Chicago, uh -huh. but my family is from Mexico. Okay. Yeah. But I also work for UNESCO, and I have my own consultancy business to see me through. Yeah. Cool. And then because we were there, the professor was like, let's go tour a bit. The Rastuus was already prepared, so that served on time, and the guests seemed to like it. However, the profita rolls were another story. What's the time? It's 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock? Yeah. We're still waiting for dessert. Well, you know, I think when you have a 
when you have a dinner party, it's yeah. supposed to be streamlined. You know, it is supposed to be streamlined, and the host needs to be um, spending as much time as they can with the guests. Are you, like waiting for us? Like everything's good over there. Do I need yeah. to bring anything? This is like American media. <laughs> Okay, that looks and smells amazing. Wow. Ah, what? Wow. This is insane. For dessert, there's a French classic and everyone's favourite. Mmm, profiteroles. After all, how can you go wrong with pastry, ice cream and chocolate sauce? Alright, well I have two questions. I mean, they're pretty straightforward. Um, one of them is your favourite place to go out, whether it be a restaurant or a bar in Paris. Mm -hmm. um, second would be if you could pick one city to live for the rest of your life, where and why? Oh, for me it's La Closerie de Lilao. It's a restaurant. It's for me like the best fish restaurant in Paris. I really enjoy it because they have like this 20s theme where there is piano playing and they serve you like with this huge plates. It's pretty interesting and it's where Hemingway used to write his pieces and, mm, and going there it always feels like, I don't know, a dream. It's pretty, mm -hmm. yeah, That's it's cool. pretty interesting. I think I'd say Paris um, because even though it's an accident, this is where we're building our lives and mm. this is where our friends are and, and I think Paris is the gateway to Europe. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. Paris. The dinner party has now come to an end and I have to say the guests have really really enjoyed it. The guests are going to rate the lovely Andrea out of five for general experience and the food itself. May the best person win. So I've really enjoyed um, Andrea and Flo's company tonight. I think doing a dinner party for 15 euros for four people is really hard and I think they've done an exceptional job. I think we had to wait a bit long for the dessert and I think a good dinner party means that the host is usually there. Um, I also think Flo might have done a lot of the work. Um, so for that reason, um, Andrea loses a few points. The profito rolls were exceptional. Um, so I'm giving a score of 3.5. I think a semi-success. It was really great, like the food-wise, but that the host should be more present. There were a lot of time gaps, for sure. Yeah. It was great conversation that even though we didn't really know each other, everyone um, had a lot to say to each other, and that we connected well, and that the food was great. Okay, I have to admit that in the beginning I was kind of shy. It was just kind of awkward in the beginning, because I didn't really know these people. I really enjoyed the night, like having this beautiful ladies with me and the food was delicious as well. For the food or for the night overall? I for you four. So that's a wrap. Andrea scored 11 out of 15, which is a pretty decent score. The main knock against her was the lateness of the profita rolls and a lack of presence at the table, and maybe a little too much help from boyfriend Flo. Thanks for watching.